So people used to make fun of, and we may have even done it ourselves, Dr. Phil's show is some kind of celebrity freak show arena, but in real life in 2020, too, you may find more interesting and more honest guests on Dr. Phil's show than you're gonna find on NBC News. Case in point, Dr. Phil recently interviewed Lila Rose, the pro-life activist. She's not getting on Morning Joe. So she came on, a guest tried to shout her down, and here's how she reacted. You have no empathy. A abortion is devastating for, to women's mental health. No one talks about that. The year after a woman has Do an you know abortion, it's really like the, the year after a woman to have the child. They, what kind of trauma is the that? Trauma that is the trauma is from the rape. The trauma is from the rape. The child's an innocent party there. The child and is we don't born take out yet. It's not there. We, we should not take out generational sin on a child to say there's generational sin and that dad was but an abuser, the so the child should be killed. At this That's rate. not We're fair to the child. We're talking about rights, and he just yes. said we've been taken a right has been taken away from us and what is next? I want to address that because our fundamental human right that we all share in this room is life it's the first human right laws are meant to protect the weak in a society who's the weakest who's the weakest in a society a child whether you live 10 minutes or 10 years or 100 years you're a human life and you have the right to not be killed it's kind of an amazing exchange the nose ring girl is clearly damaged she's mad deeply mad about something and Lila Rose this isn't easy. We can tell you stays totally calm during the whole thing. She's president of Live Action. She joins us tonight. Lyra Rose, thank you uh, for coming on and for showing how you, you really do win an argument, not by drowning the other person out with rage or shouting him down, but by calmly saying what you really think. I think, I think you win people when you do that. Well, thanks, Tucker. I mean, it's, I, I'm fighting and we're fighting for something really beautiful that's human lives. And so it's, and, and, and what's there to be, um, you know, worked up over, it's, it's the evil of abortion, but at the end of the day, the truth sets people free. So when we are equipped with the truth to share that, and if I go on a show like Dr. Phil and sharing facts that are, you know, about scientific development of human life in the womb, facts about the evil of abortion, um, the facts speak for themselves. So it's, it's, a, it's a powerful message that I'm privileged to get to share. You never dismiss, I notice, the suffering of the young woman or any woman who's pregnant and doesn't want to be, there's obviously real suffering there. She feels helpless and terrified. But you also point out that abortion, killing this child, hurts the woman too. And maybe that's why there's so much rage around this issue. I mean, I think you're spot on. We're actually about to launch Can't Stay Silent, which is a white paper, but also a series of many videos, testimonies of women who've had abortions and have the courage afterwards to speak out about how devastating abortion was for them. The metadata proves that there is serious mental health risks to women who have abortions afterwards. In the year after having an abortion, 150% more likely to commit suicide. So that message is part of the pro-life message to say, listen, don't do it, choose life. There are people that wanna help yeah. you and life is worth fighting for. And if you cared about women, as they say they do at Planned Parenthood, you would care about that, but they don't care about women. Exactly. They care about exactly. more abortions, of course. Lila Rose, I appreciate your coming on and your calmness. Thank you. Thanks, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.